Hey family and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So again, I am going to do the second topic that I read in Why Men Shut Women Out. And this is by Slade Shaw. Again, that this is a ebook. So if you watch my nagging video, then you'll definitely be interested in what I have to say here. Now, if this is your very first time here, or if you found me in the suggested videos, guess what? I will link the first video about Nagy in the description box below so you can go ahead and check out that video as well because that had some very interesting research in that video. All right, again, just in case you were not watching the nagging video I want to go ahead and tell you what this is about so basically Slade Shaw did um, a survey with real men and it dealt with uh, men who've never been married single men who were divorced widowers happily married men unhappily married men and of course single dating men and what he found is that men basically always have the same relationship needs no matter the age and um the answers were surprisingly similar throughout all of the age groups. So that's why he said that men um, have the same relationship needs. So I'm going to speak about four tips on why men pull away. Now, if you watch my why men pull away video that I did a few years ago, then um, it, 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 if you have some of this information is kind of the same. However, it's a tip bit different because the research is now backed up behind it. And also now I have um, actual responses from what the men who took the survey actually said so I want to read some of those as well alright so the first one is not so surprisingly actually but the answer is that they lost interest or they lose interest and that's not necessarily like a deep answer however the reasoning behind why they lost interest is because they felt angry or bitter in some type of way which I thought that that was a bit deep because you just mainly hear, oh, I just lost interest. There's never any reasoning or the why behind why you lost interest. Like what happened? The what happened that we women sometimes question. What happened? Why did you lose interest? Is because some and most of the men actually feel some type of bitterness or anger towards the woman that they're with, which I thought which is very poignant, okay? The next one, which was one of the most common answers, is that they didn't feel that the women actually cared about them any longer. Now, this might not be the same thing that the women felt, but from their aspect, from what they thought they seen, they felt like the women didn't care about them anymore. So, they pulled away. Because mainly it's a whole protection thing. I really don't want to get hurt anymore. So I'm going to just pull away and do my own thing. Especially if they feel like you don't care about them. Because quiet as it's kept, men like love and affection just like women do. They just want it from the right person. We women will kind of get it from just about anybody just to feel that need for the moment. Even if it doesn't last. For men, they will kind of shut down. And then they really, really want it, but they want it from the right person. And they want it, and then they start to need it on a consistent basis. The third reason I've talked about this multiple times is respect. Of course, respect is a common thing. And men actually feel love when they feel respected. I told you guys about this study that I read a long time ago that um, when they had the choices of actually being loved versus being respected, the majority of the men, I can't even remember the percentage now, but the majority of the men actually chose respect over love. Women would choose love over respect. Absolutely. It's not that either sex doesn't want love or respect. It's just our priorities, basically. Men want and need to feel respected all the time. Like We hear this all the time. I feel disrespected. feel disrespected. They need that even from their women. And so if you are not respecting your man, he is absolutely going to put away, pull away from you. Absolutely, absolutely. The fourth one is women trying to change their man. And I know we go into our relationships and we say that we're not going to try to change them. But we inch toward 
trying to change him every single time we have it's it's a gnat or something flying around here anyway we we <laughs> we, we, we try to tra change the guy every single time that we bring up something that they need to for lack of better word change like I don't like the way you're doing X and because you don't like the way they're doing X that's a change that they need to make right or it could be something bigger. I don't really like your friends. Or I don't like that you go out to the club all the time. Change. Change. The thing that has to occur is he has to want to change and he has to be the one to change. He cannot change because you want him to change. Because what's, what's going to happen? He's going to do all this changing for you. And it's not going to be authentic, number one. And number two, when things start going downhill, guess what he's going to say? He's going to blame it on you that you tried to change him. He's trying to please you. But because it was not in his heart to do it himself, that's where the issue comes into play. That's where the defiance comes into play. That's where the I can do what I want to do. You ain't my mama and I'm going to do what I want to do because I don't care about you and your feelings come into play. We don't think that we're trying to change our mate, but actually we are. We have to learn to actually sit back and accept the person that we decided to say I do to or that we decided to be in this relationship with. And if you don't want to be there, if you want that person to change, if that's something that is a huge deal breaker for you, then before you say I do, get another partner. If it is that serious where you feel like, okay, I cannot accept this thing then you need to get another partner. I know that's harsh. I know that's not what you were looking for, but I'm serious because otherwise you are going to be disappointed the majority of your relationship and you only going to disappoint your partner the majority of your relationship because they are absolutely going to tell you that they feel like you were trying to change them, that you were not satisfied, that they could never do enough of to please you. And that's where all of that stuff comes from. And it's not, it's usually not just one thing. It's this thing, and then it's that thing, and then it's that thing, and then it's that thing, right? So if we are not willingly changing ourselves and our spouses is expecting us to change, that's where issues come into play. All right, this one I'm actually going to read because as you see, out of the four, I didn't bring up sex. Most men don't pull away because of sex. I know. I know. It's very surprising to a lot of you guys out there. It's very surprising. But once you get into a relationship, I'm not saying that sex goes away because it usually hardly ever does. Even when we get older, it might slow down. But it usually doesn't go away. And with that being said, some men in the survey did choose to pull away because of sex. But it was only 9%. 9% of men, and the survey was um, 700 men, and only 65 of them chose to pull away solely because of sex. Again, only 9%. So yes, it does occur, right? But the majority of men are pulling away because of different issues. They lose an interest. Like I said, it's not just because they lost interest. It's because they felt bitter or angry in some type of way. The respect issue. You're not respecting your man. They pulling away and shying back and going back into their cave because you are not respecting them. You're not caring for them. Or they don't think that you care about them any longer. It's something about you and your behavior that is not showing care from his point of view. And then lastly, you're trying to change them. So those are the four reasons, again, sex was in there, but it was a small portion out of the survey. Out of, out of 700 men, only 65 said that I'm pulling away or shutting down or, you know, doing my own thing. That's a small percentage, ladies. I'm just giving you a different point of view. He could have pulled away for another reason. Now, sex could have been intertwined in the reason, but the, the, ma the major reason, the major point why he decided to walk away from you or to pull away from you had little to do with the sex. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read just a few of some of the actual responses on why men pull away from the survey from the men themselves. And so I'll read those and then we'll wrap this up. Okay. 
Okay, one of the men said that I pulled away because I felt like I was giving more to the relationship than my partner. I'm not saying she did anything wrong, but we all have emotional needs, not just physical. Again, think about what I just said about sex. I just felt the balance wasn't right and she felt it too. Love is a two-way street and you both have to be going the same way. It's not about falling out of love, but when you stop doing the little things, someone in the relationship will lose interest. I've said that, I ain't gonna say a thousand times, but I'm hitting, I'm almost hitting a thousand. It's all about the little things. All about the little things in relationships. The big things are nice, but it's about the mundane, everyday things that you do with and for and to your partner and your partner obviously reciprocating the same thing. It's absolutely all about the small things. Taking out the trash, bringing the coffee, bringing the person they plate to eat, letting them rest when you know that they need to rest, letting them relax when they get first get home before you start dumping all of your baggage onto them throughout the day. What happened to your day? Why your day sucked? It's all about the little things. And, and that goes into the caring portion of it too. Maybe you stop cooking for your boo. Maybe you stop doing the laundry. Maybe you stop cleaning up. It's all about the little things. It absolutely is. Anyway, the next response. I believe this applies to both men and women, which I like that. Don't just handle us. Anyway, why anyone shuts anyone else out is a function of intimacy. Most people think intimacy most people think intimacy is equated with sex. That is only part of intimacy. There are several other layers of intimacy. I believe that when anyone shuts someone out, it is because they are primarily afraid of intimacy or they do not perceive intimacy in the relationship. The problem is that intimacy is what everyone needs to thrive. What runs away from because intimacy on all levels requires us to be vulnerable to someone else and it seems counterintuitive to us as humans to find strength in vulnerability. So we hide our deepest fears from those we wish to share them with and we, fall to, and we fail to ask for help carrying those burdens. At, again, this applies to both men and women. And I totally agree with that. I do. I totally agree with that. It is a, a two-way street. This happens on both ends of the spectrum. And if each party is not receiving the intimacy that they need, again, this is what their love language is, right? So if you are not receiving the intimacy that you need, sex could be the intimacy portion for one or both of you. You guys have to have a conversation. You need to know what's going on with your partner. Your partner needs to know what's going on with you. So what did you guys think about this and why men pull away? This is a deeper reason and I like the reasonings. I love this survey because I was able to hear the why behind why why men pull away. I know that the you know um, it's about the respect thing, right? But you never hear the deeper answer. It's a, because I lost interest, but you never hear the deeper answer. And also to hear the actual answers in the guys words themselves I thought that that was very powerful as well but again I want to hear your thoughts let's go ahead and continue the conversation in the comment section below let's go ahead and have a dialogue right because I know I'm on video but this is not a monologue this is a dialogue so I want to hear what you guys have to say absolutely go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video itself if you did not see my video that I did a few days ago the nagging portion of it, definitely click the I or go down in the description box below to see and click on that video as well. If this is your very first time here, of course, consider subscribing because here at I Love Me Me Me, I love to supply you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. So we together as a tribe can come together and start to decrease that divorce rate by simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I'm going to get you together so you can choose the right mate or at least have the tools 
to be able to choose the right mate. Now, the choice is yours if you actually apply them. Because knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. I'll see you again soon. Two fingers salute.